So every day, hundreds of thousands of Americans are evicted and removed from their homes. I just finished a book called Evicted, Poverty and Profit in the American City by Matthew Desmond. The book takes place in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and as Desmond writes, an astonishing number of one in eight renters were forced to move out of their homes in just the course of 24 months. As insane as those numbers are to all of us, Evicted is a book essentially about people, not just numbers or statistics. It explains how many Americans live in poverty, something that most of us could not personally understand. Evicted truly gave me a better understanding of what it is like to be very poor or disadvantaged in this country than anything else I have read or ever grasp. So the author spends uh, almost two years living in extremely high poverty areas in Milwaukee, one predominantly white and the other one mostly black, getting to know the residents and the neighborhoods uh, so he can write about them. Uh, I met many personalities in the book, renters, judges, sheriffs, landlords, clerks, lawyers, and so many others. It kind of helped me understand why people make the choices that they make. As it is in the title, much of the book is about how troublesome uh, it is to find and keep a house when you're living in a very harsh and severe poverty. Let me give you a sense of how things work. Most housing experts believe that the ideal contribution for a house is 30% of a household income. But in Evicted, Desmond tells us that most low-income families will give over 50% or sometimes the unlucky one gives 70% of their income for the rent. This is a huge number to just have a roof over their head. It also means a single adverse incident can make you homeless instantly with that type of income and that type of ratio. Evicted is not just focusing on housing. It is a dramatic representation of how problems of poverty are intertwined. So think about it. When someone in that situation has to look for a new home to live in, so they most likely will miss work, which will cut back on their paycheck, which makes them more likely to be suspended or even get fired from their jobs. So imagine how all these instabilities will impact families, even children. Eviction is really about people's uh, vulnerability, desperations, courage, determinations, and so many other things. I always wanted to learn more about how people move up the so-called economic ladder. It is also called mobility from poverty. Evicted helped me understand one very important piece of that puzzle. And uh, it makes me want to learn more about the uh, systemic difficulties uh, that make housing unaffordable, but uh, also various government programs designed to help these individuals. The book briefly covers the history of public housing in America. It shows how big government-run projects uh, are mostly a thing of the past. And today, most people, uh, poor people, live in private projects. But since funding hasn't really kept up with the needs, the book explains only 25% that are qualified are really getting those aids. The wait list for a housing voucher is often measured not in months, not even years, but sometimes in decades. So Desmond Books raises one crucial question that it doesn't quite answer. How can low-income neighborhoods have cheap real estate and vacant houses, but still lack of decent affordable homes? Has it anything to do with limiting zones or stringent building codes that might drive up the prices or even an average home in a city? So next time you walk or drive through one of these low-income neighborhoods, think about these questions. In the meantime, evicted is well worth reading for anyone who wants to better understand poverty in the United States. It is fantastically written, thought provocative, and really, really impressive.